Hey guys, Footy Manager TV here. Welcome to episode number 98 of my Manchester United Football Manager 2015 Let's Play. Today we've got a couple of games. First up in the Capital One Cup, uh, first Capital One Cup game uh, for this season. Uh, third round, uh, which it is. And then we've got a Norwich game. It's three days after, so I don't want to be playing too many of my amazing players. If I get knocked out in the Capital One Cup, it's all cool, but... Uh, we've been unbeaten, I suppose, this season in the competitive games. Forget about the Community Shields. It was a bit of a rocky start, 2-0-0 um, -nil -nil games, but there was signs. We just couldn't finish our chances, pretty much, and then that was showcased in the next game. We scored four against Chelsea, six against both Everton and Inter, who were playing today, Everton, and away against Aston Villa. Uh, I was hoping, yeah, that 0-0 uh, situation didn't creep in again, but... Yeah, we held for an away game, but you've got to look at that. You do have to. All those big wins were all at home, so that may be something to look at, or it just be early season, uh, new signings, taking time to gel, but it, yeah, it didn't take long, did it? Uh, so, who are you starting for this game? Uh, Zivkovic has been really solid, uh, five goals. Like Now you can really give a realistic judgment on how we're playing this season, not just after the first two results I played in that episode. First two league games of the season, the two nil nils. Of course, even I, even I was a bit judgmental about my formation, my players. But then in the next few games, they definitely showed us, uh, yeah, this is the right way to play, and they're good enough. More importantly, uh, but yeah, just rotating a team a bit more. Carlos uh, Mane, I do, yeah, you know, I really believe. Uh, he could be a world class player, or at least if he doesn't look like that attribute wise, his output would be like that once he gels with the teammates. He's still only 23, so he can come up. Hamas Rodriguez has got an injury, unfortunately, um, as you know, but he's been amazing for me. Again, in those first two games, I think some people were saying you shouldn't be playing him out wide, but the thing is, he showed what he can do. I had the faith in him as an inside forward, so he's not, like real, he's not running down the wings. He's cutting inside as an inside forward and being dangerous, running through the middle, really, and he's created chances that way. So I think that's pretty much it. We'll just go into the game. And definitely Sergio Ramos and Pressland. Well, Pressland, yeah, his average rating isn't too good, but I haven't really noticed that's the weakness. Uh, going in and just analysing the squad, you probably look, we don't have a natural right back. But hopefully with the training, uh, Ramos and Pressland will both become uh, natural. More importantly, Pressland, because he's much younger. But it won't be long before they will be natural in that position. So look at their team. It is fairly young, but don't forget we're in a few, we're a few seasons in now. So guys like Galloway, he's 21 now. He's a first team player, and he looks he looks decent. He looks decent enough. And then there's George Green as attacking midfielder. He's got nice attributes as well. So yeah, that's not really a downside. Um, who's this? Uh, Gibson. Where are we? Uh, Gibson. Uh, ben Gibson. He he's a good player. Where was he signed from? Middlesbrough. Uh, yeah, he was playing championship. So that's a big step up. That is a big step up. Of course, he's, I suppose, a younger kind of player he was. So he was only getting better. But 24 now. Uh, is he Premier League level? He probably is. Uh, but Everton? Yeah, um, I suppose he can suit them. Uh, partnered with Gomez. Uh, Gustavo Gomez. A really strong defender. So they're okay. Not best defenders in the world, of course, but they're all right. So hopefully we can have another big win over them. I'll be confident we can. And uh, I might do this in my video sometimes. I want to name some players I want to see shine. And in this game, definitely Carlos Mane. I want him to step up. Anyone else? Maybe Iniesta have a really dominant game in midfield. And Yanazai. Yeah, really sure. He said he wants to play a bit more games. And I've given a couple of, a couple starts uh, this season. But I really I want him to step up to that next level. To be maybe that Depay level uh, how he was last season, not maybe goals wise, you can't see him getting <laughs> that many goals, but it's more like just his output, uh, whether it be assists or whatever, which he did last season, he got a decent amount for the chances uh, we gave him, also Pavel Savitsky, he's been a guy, last couple of football manager games, he's been around as a cheapest signing, but I don't think he gets a work permit in the first season for a Premier League team at least, so he usually goes to this yeah, kind of a Salzburg kind of team, I didn't go there till late, actually, in the 2016-17 season, but he dominates wherever he goes. Of course, that um, Belarusian league, uh, that's Belarus, of course, uh, yeah, absolutely dominated, then moved to Salzburg in Austria, 500k only. So if you're that kind of team, 
maybe in a not as popular or as good uh, European league, he would be a bargain signing if you have that 500k available, or even if you can sign him in the first season. Um, and then, yeah, even a few seasons in, he'll still be fairly cheap because Austrian league players will generally be lower valued, and he is good. I think he was better in FM14, though, just attribute-wise. I think he develops a bit better, but uh, we'll go to team talk here. And what shall we say? And look at this. Inigo Martinez played one game and got a 9.2 rating, so he definitely deserves another start. Luke Shaw's, oh man, he's definitely going to just... I'm not sure whether to lower his training workload so he can be more fit, or what do you think if I just put it on light uh, so he can make sure like he doesn't get injured because yeah, like he's going to have to play the next game uh, three days later, so he's going to have to be... He's going to have to show his fitness, and the lucky thing is he does have 16 natural fitness, 15 stamina is doable. Uh, but yeah, hopefully he doesn't get injured uh, because then we'll be in some trouble. I still may look for a late loan signing uh, before the window ends because where are we now? We're at, Yeah, we're almost at the end of September. That's when it ends. So we may yeah still be on lookout. I'll play this game first and then we'll see who can be potentially available to us. But we'll go passionately and say, um, I expect nothing but a win from this match to keep our good run going. I'm really someone about... Uh, having that good run, keeping it, of being unbeaten this season. And still in the league, of course, we're continuing that run from last season. Of course, we had an unbeaten season and no one has beat us in the league yet this season. So things are going to plan uh, for mine. I'm really happy. Uh, I know, yeah, there's a lot to do and I have faith in my ability and the players' ability and you know, they've shown that so far this season. And we can only get better throughout a season. That's been me always in Football Manager. Throughout a season, my as you would expect as well, a uh, team, they just play better uh, as a whole. And here we go. Tielemans running past. He's going to be a danger this season. He's another one I want to see step up. Yeah, Tielemans, a very big one in that way. And Ramos, see, look at that. He's still so good. He's still so good at intercepting, even if he is old. But yeah, it's funny. I was suggested to sign experience, but when I did sign experience, people thought it was a bad thing as they go close here. So that's why I, I did find a bit puzzling. Uh, people told me to sign experience, then I went and signed experience with Casillas and Ramos, and yeah, they said it, a lot of you guys said it was a bad thing, so yeah, I find it a bit funny, <laughs> really, so I just got to focus doing my own thing, and hopefully, um, you know, I can reach my, reach my goal of having that Champions League dominance, because domestically, we've done that kind of already, uh, but you want to continue it as well. Uh, Lukaku, come on. They're having a few chances, though, here. This is what we've got to be careful of. I'll do a team talk after this. Oh, it's, it was it was one chance too late. It was one chance too late, unfortunately. It was coming, though. It To be fair, Everton had a few chances, and they probably deserved that goal. They had a few chances and put it home. But saying that, it was the only shot on target um, at the same time. As Morales gets past... Uh, but yeah, he's got to clear that Inigo Martinez. He just got to get to it and clear it, pretty much. It's as simple as that. Uh, maybe go a bit more direct here. I feel sometimes I'm going to have to change that. Uh, when I need a goal, I'll go a bit more direct and I'll go assertively, say, show some passion. And maybe they're lacking that. Like it's early, early stage in the Capital One Cup. I can feel that sometimes. Uh, but yeah, we should be able to come back here and get a goal. They just need to get their act together. Come on, Iniesta. Carlos Mane, what is he going to do here? Oh, here we go. Dangerous cross. Tielemans. We'll get it back. Belanta, Will Hughes. Tielemans. Tielemans running through the middle. Tielemans strikes it. Oh, he gets it back. Come on. Come on, Mane. Oh, man, that's again. We'll see, we're creating chances, uh, click cut chances, on target chances. We have to be taking them. Lately, like I feel we have to create so many chances to score. That's just my opinion, come on, take it now, Hughes, Zivkovic, Zivkovic, Yanazai, Carlos Mane, Shaw, oh, he smashes it home, this would be amazing for his confidence, just to be playing amazing, score a goal to get a good rating in this game, and then he can push on, uh, hit, like, we do need to make a signing, surely, like a loan signing uh, of a left back, because four months, like, the, him playing every single game for a month is acceptable, you can, you can get by with that, but, this, like, four months, four months, that's, that's a big injury, that's a really big injury, you can't see Luke Shaw playing every single game at left back for, for that long, oh no, save it, man, late goal in the half, 
Uh, that's not what we need. And again, it's they had two shots on target and scored twice from it. Uh, very clinical, I suppose. You have to get credit to them. But Liali coming up, maybe he's showing now that he isn't good enough. Um, that's why I signed Casillas now. Uh, but again, it's just one game. So it's hard to yeah commit too much to that. But either way, at least I can say, yeah, they don't look like a team that wants to win and motivate basically every single player that usually does the job. So at least we can get an if we can get another goal back, uh, get on level terms. I'm not sure. Will it be extra time? I think it will. But we'll see if that pans out or not. See, we've got the possession. That's not a problem. Uh, but them getting chances is the problem. Four clear-cut chances. Something I've got to look at. But come on, Zivkovic. Come on. <laughs> he tries to go past twice and he can't. Carlos Mane. Carlos Mane. Oh, that's a good sign. Look dangerous there. Got the shot on target. So that's eight shots on target for us against their two. Come on, Telemans. Telemans. Oh, I'll, he's been showing that recently. He could really run at the defense and get past them. Oh, we're going to make a change here. I reckon... It's time to bring on the big guns, I feel. Uh, Will Hughes to come off, maybe? No, that's not going to win us the game. Zivkovic will bring on Depay striker. See, Mane's actually had a good game, 7.1 rating. You wouldn't want to take him off, but Royce as well. Nyanazai's actually been poor. We'll bring Royce on, and they'll just rotate yeah, him and Mane, uh, as the, tech, uh, the tactics suggest, and... Di Maria or Goethe, see, they're rested for this game. Um, Tielemans, he showed signs, but hasn't looked like... Well, he has, but he just hasn't done it, yeah, you know? Uh, let's bring on Di Maria and save Goethe. Up. And yeah, some people were saying, uh, like, with Harmas Rodriguez, like, earlier, what, the first couple games, I started him on the bench, and uh, Di Maria, that situation as well. Someone said he's the new Di Maria, because maybe I didn't start Di Maria all the time. That's the thing. You can't play them in every single game. So, yeah, if you see a player that you think I should be playing, it doesn't mean he's not going to be playing for the whole season for me. Every single player in my squad, in the first team at least, is going to play some part. And, of course, Di Maria and uh, guys like Camus Rodriguez, they're going to need rest in these kind of games, you know? It just makes sense. And then he can come on off the bench and do that uh, when he's had a bit of a rest. Bang! Bang, so that sh shows like a good choice, uh, pretty much. And scores in the 69th minute. What better way to do it? Royce, Di Maria, the subs coming on. Give them the rest they needed, because uh, you'd want to play them in the league games. And yeah, uh, two goals. Uh, we have both scored now, so hopefully maybe we can push on uh, for the winner. It's been a very interesting game, actually. Come on, Depay. Go! Oh, so close! Oh, my God. Falls back to Di Maria. Di Maria. Now it's Luke Shaw. Well done. Well done. 15 minutes remaining. And we look likely to score another. Carlos Mane. Yes! Come on. It's going to be a win, it looks like. And Andres Iniesta puts it home. I told him, or I told you, I wanted him to step up. And he has done here. Uh, for us to take the lead, and again, that's more experience as well, that he might have gone, or, or you just didn't notice the signing of him last season, uh, I don't see him talked about too much in the comments, as an experienced player, but yeah, him now, uh, with, and don't forget they're Spanish guys as well, with Casillas and Ramos in the same team, so that's a lot of Spanish experience, to buy running pass, oh my god, should have been a goal with that run, or if it was, would have been amazing, an amazing goal, and when you got Memphis and when we're going to have Hamas Rodriguez and him in the same team, them running at the defenders, man, they're going to be so scared, other teams. They should be and have to repair, uh, pre prepare for that. Come on, Depay. Get another goal to finish it off. Come on, get to it. Oh, clear it. Come on. From here, we may push back to just control the game. Uh, will allow us to be wary of counterattacks instead of just attacking, attacking, which has worked. Uh, we've got more goals than our opponent. <laughs> That's a kind of my style, to be honest. And there we go. Deserve victory. It looked unlikely, I'm not going to lie, at some point. But, yeah, the defense was a bit shaky apart from Luke Shaw. But he got that, yeah, good rating or better rating than the others because of the goal he scored. Defensive, maybe we just need to work more on our, yeah, defending in training. That could, It could be as simple as that. And we could improve that.
Um, but we've been all right so far. Um, decent win, a good comeback, and we advance to the next round. Well done, lads. So here, I just got a report on this Pablo Sosa. Um, I thought he looked all right, um, attribute-wise. Uh, he's got no intention of joining, which is a bit of a surprise. He'd just be a good signing for Skybet Championship, but he's got good Premier League potential. Uh, yeah, you've got to always try and yeah, yeah, test it, I suppose, with the scout report, see what they think, because uh, he looked all right. He's 20, I suppose, but you look at a region as a younger player. He's got 17 dribbling, uh, determination as well, uh, but... He's an okay player, but he's not what I look uh, look like, uh, or what I look for in a signing for United. Just not that high potential for a region. Uh, but at least bitches love him, and he's number 69, so he's got that going for him. <laughs> uh, so what is the other messages we have? That's it. Uh, yeah, just from scouting, oh my god, and look at the mo on that guy, Matthias Biscay, and he actually uh, looks all right. <laughs> he does. See, that? that's what I look for in a region. That Then he's got a bit higher potential. Uh, yeah, we'll just, do we have him, yeah, add him to a short list indefinitely, because you don't know how good he can get in the future, we may look for a signing, but I can't take him too seriously at 17 with that Mo man, and the beard, uh, but he does look good, uh, gotta give him credit for that at the least, uh, we just gotta keep the faith in Luke Shaw, but we're gonna have to play him, uh, constantly with these kind of ratings, you know, or condition 92%, uh, surely we could probably recall one of our players, that's crept into my mind, like a Kenny Anthony, um, it just all depends on Luke Shaw's ability to play uh, under those kind of conditions. But anyway, uh, we'll go back. And this is a team we're going in with pretty strong. Starting James Wilson, want him to step up a bit more. Uh, a lot of guys you want to be playing, I suppose, are in like Memphis Depay, Royce, Di Maria, Goethe, Romero. Try to fit them all into the same team. Uh, Preslin gets the gig at right back. Sergio Ramos going to play centre back ahead of Martinez, so that's a good thing about, see, that's why I feel, um, I feel I get value for money with Sergio Ramos, because he can play as good at centre-back, and probably at right-back as well, he can play those two positions well, there's no doubt in that, because he's an experienced player, and world-class defender, without a doubt, so you get value for money there, because he can play two positions effectively, uh, that's what I looked at when signing him, at least, there's not many players I could have signed like that, that could be a really good centre back, but also do the job as a complete wing back. He was probably he's probably the best option in the game for that, even though he is a bit older. Um, we'll go assertively, and yeah, go out there. Uh, well, the fin <laughs> uh, the way we finished the last match, I knew we won, but it wasn't amazing. Um, just yeah, keep our run going more than anything. But we'll probably have to add some more positional talks. We'll say passionately. I'll fix up the picked again. Sometimes that <laughs> has a mind of its own. And there we go. Some good reactions. This will be good. And then the striker talk. Um, only Goethe didn't really get anything added. Just says nothing specific noted. Which isn't too bad. Because it's not like he gets a bad reaction uh, because of that. So we need to yeah, come back in the Premier League here and and win. Because Liverpool have started really well this season. They, they're going to be a hard team to beat. Uh, just for us. Uh, just for us to beat them. And other teams even... Harder, you'd think, if we can't. But come on, Di Maria. Depay score early. He does. Early-ish, anyway. 22nd minute. Fourth goal of the season. He's starting to get a few now. Great start to this game, and uh, we can continue on. When we get that early goal, we'll at least score in the first half. We can push on for a few more. Um, as you can see there, uh, Depay is really left alone. No one really marking him, despite a lot of defenders in the box. And you give Memphis that kind of space. He's going to be finishing that. Uh, nine times out of ten, I would say. So Ramos with the throw into Preslin. Preslin back to Ramos. Uh, now to Goethe. And now to Royce. And now to Wilson. That is just too good. And that is a perfect showcase of why I want to play this formation. It might be doubted at some times uh, for whatever crazy reason. Uh, but that passing, that short passing is amazing. And then when you pass it to a guy, then he just has to tap it in. I love seeing that amazing for James Wilson to finish that, nice and easy really, the work was done for him, go now, look at all this, oh my god, look at the space, now Goethe finds Wilson, need him to step up as well and be world class, now Royce puts it in, this could be another big win if we score another this half, if we score this now, Royce, oh too good, too good that defense by Norwich, got to give them credit for that, it was a real chance for us, and now it's Ramos, to Wilson, or oh, created the space there, and Di Maria, we've got three on the board now, oh. <laughs> we're looking good now, we're starting to hit the right 
uh, kind of area uh, in our form. And Wilson, oh, did you see that? How he created that space? That was class. That he won't get much uh, credit for that, but oh, I'll take that down. I'll I'll definitely notice that was an amazing touch to create some space in the box. And now Falk, Redmond, Casillas makes a save. I'd love Casillas. He deserves more clean sheets. He's conceded some unlucky goals this season, uh, but he's kept well. Uh, amazing signing, I feel, uh, for us. And 3-0 going to half time away from home. Perfect performance. Much better. Much better. Of course, the lads might have not been up for the Capital One Cup game. But that's, that's my job as a manager, yeah, to get the players up for that occasion. So... Uh, but I turned around, of course, like halftime team talks and all of that so we can win the game. But yeah, I feel it's down to a manager to get your players up uh, for those kind of occasions when the interest may be down for them. Come on. Come on, Depay. We've got four. We're back to dominating now. We're back to dominating. And I've got to say, I love it. <laughs> I love seeing my team dominating at an important time, you know, like early in the season. We dropped a couple points early with draws, uh, two nil nils. Uh, we've turned it around and showed the true quality and the faith that I had in my players and the formation. I really had faith in what we wanted to do and where I wanted to go with the team. And we're showing that now. We're showing that now. Memphis uh, could have almost put home our fifth. And that's only, we've only had four shots on target. So we've been a bit more clinical. I've been working on that. So that's, this is a big I know it's only against Norwich, but this is a big positive for us. We're taking our chances now. Uh, only eight shots in total as well. Normally, we have a lot more. Come on, Royce. Belanta. Belanta tries one. <laughs> so, even Belanta's trying shots and getting them on target. So, unlucky couldn't score. Doesn't score too many that are not from headers from corners. Now, Di Maria. And that was nothing. So, we might as well rest a few players. Uh, like I usually would do here. Any big names. We'll leave Wilson on. Maybe can score another. Uh, Di Maria, again, we don't want him to get an injury. Really important player for us. And he's becoming an experienced player. We'll bring on Tielemans. Anyone else? Defenders seem to be doing well. Uh, Luke Shaw. See, that's the thing. We're going to need... Can Inigo Martinez play left back? He can almost play there. But this is where Belanta, he may have to just cover. He may just have to cover for Luke Shaw. To make sure, no pun intended, that he is fit for the next game. Sometimes we may have to do that. So Blanta, I don't think he's terrible. Of course, he's again, he's not the best option in that. But what has he got? He's got runs with the ball often, but he's got stays back at all times. So I'll be interested to see how those, yeah, work together with playing complete win back. Like I just want to see, yeah, like a good um, half an hour here during the game, how he plays that role and how dangerous he is going forward. Uh, it's not his best role, like I said. It's either a centre-back or a left-back on a defend kind of role as a full-back. Uh, that's what I'll see best for him. Uh, but I just want to see how he goes here, if he'll be good enough. Uh, there, I don't think that's his fault. He didn't <laughs> get a good pass. Giovinco, Romero, what happened here? Is this a bad challenge or is it just a yellow? Uh, Romero. I'm not sure if any of you guys have him. Has he ever had a streak of giving away red cards? How much, I think he's had at least one this season, or it was late last season because he had a suspension. Yeah, I think it was late last season or in the Community Shield. It could have been that, but either way, that's not good. <laughs> that is not a good thing. So it may be wise because we've got Preston as well, so they could definitely play fullback or defend. We'll just yeah be a bit more defensive here. Uh, there we go, fullback on defend, instructions, uh, we'll take off, look for the overlap, uh, because they won't be getting forward, and maybe we could bring on a defensive midfielder in Pirlo uh, for Mario Goetze, so a bit more defensive there, we'll drop him down to a more defensive role, and he can play a deep line playmaker there, and uh, even Tielemans, now nah, we'll leave that, we'll leave that, like we're probably going to win this, really, uh, just wanted to manage that as well as we could, but yeah, Ramiro, oh, he hasn't got heaps, it just feels in recent times, he's got suspended a few times, you know, so that's just on my mind uh, for Romero, but I'm not sure if he's prone to that, that's why I asked you, does he do that for you, and yeah, hopefully you can leave your feedback on that, something I actually want to know, uh, but yeah, we'll see, uh, we'll see, it's a disappointing thing, like, because the game, we, we had the game sewn up, you know, he doesn't need to go and get himself a red card, uh, making that challenge when he wasn't even on a yellow, like a straight red. That's needless. 
Oh, Telemans, look at this! Look at this, man! We've got a few of those plays, and Telemans probably the one that's a bit more surprising that he does that. When Hamas Rodriguez does it or Depay, you expect them to run at them, but he has a center midfielder, he does it. It's very dangerous. It has a, another element to his game that I didn't think he had, and here we go, Wilson! Unfortunately, still, we've only had the seven shots on target, but we've been clinical. We've been, been clinical. That's a positive sign, I suppose. Uh, normally, we'll have a lot more shots in this kind of game. That's the only downside. But we've created four click-up chances. That's good. Uh, unfortunately, Depay's off the ground here. So we actually have nine players on the pitch right now, <laughs> which is not good. Uh, but we'll survive it. There's still uh, a good 20 minutes left in this game. Let's even get another. Oh, come on. Giovinco, no chance there. We had Giovinco for a time, didn't we? We signed him on a free transfer, then we made profit off of him. Interesting. Oh, Armankes, good save. Oh, double save from Casillas. <laughs> He's still world class, man. He's still world class. I just This is a situation where you just want the game to end, really, like... Both teams probably want it. I don't want to get injury or maybe another suspension. Who knows? Kanate, if that's how you say his name, I have no idea. Uh, but he got the shot on target. And again, this will be an amazing one for Casillas to get a clean sheet because Norwich has had some shots on target, was forced into a double save before. So he'll get a very, very good rating if we don't concede a goal late in this game. Tielemans, come on, play a ball. Okay, just to Depay. That's okay. Depay, find James Wilson. James Wilson to Royce. Royce finds the back of the net. Five-star performance here today. And Royce puts home his first goal of the season. Hopefully can start a run now. And that can get him going, scoring a few more goals. And uh, I feel playing with the wingers now. See, it's almost the same as playing the three strikers last season. Some people question that I changed my tactic. But it's not really changed at all. It's just altered slightly. It's not like I'm using a completely new tactic. It's got the same foundations. It's just a yeah different positioning more or less, that's what it is, and we're playing the same style, you can tell that, and Casillas another save, oh my god, oh, that's what I meant, I just had that feeling they'll concede, oh, I don't know why, I just had a feeling we'll concede a goal, and that was again after a very nice save, look at that save, and then where was he, was he a bit out of position, he was covering near post there, yeah, a bit unlucky, yeah. not, yeah, of course we're going to win this, uh, but it's just, yeah, he deserves a clean sheet, he deserves another clean sheet, uh, PLO to whip one in, or oh, take the shot, but yeah, we win 5-1 here, good, I'm just disappointed, yeah, for the defenders and goalkeepers, see, Casillas will get a, a very good rating, 7.6, uh, but it probably would have been pushing for 8 if he didn't concede that late goal, but still in my books, he had a class game with a lot of saves, and people who might say that he just gets a good rating because, yeah, we don't concede many chances, they had 6 shots on target, uh, where are we, we'll go to our stats, Where's the saves? Yeah, saves parried, four. And saves held, one. So he, he still has to make saves uh, in the game. Uh, but Memphis Depay had a good performance as we get the three points once again. Another dominating performance. Another uh, dominating perform performance with goals. Five, another big amount of goals. Uh, we've done that a few times this season now. And I'm, I'm happy to see it. And yeah, uh, what does it say here? It says, Tony Bruin's slot advises you that Romero was dismissed for a bad tackle and... Yeah, the referee's decision was probably justified. So, again, that's disappointing. I may have to find him two weeks' wages because it's not the first time he's been suspended. Appeal against Ban. No, don't appeal. Don't appeal. And then we'll say... Because, yeah, when they repeat, like, repeat offenders, you want to... You've got to find them. You can't just warn them. And they think, oh, yeah, we'll just get away with it. I'll be fine uh, next time. We'll find him two weeks' wages, and he accepts it. See, at least that works. Um, $3 million to Anderlecht for Tielemans for playing 50 league games. He's a key player. See, I wanted, when I do my deals, I want that to go through. I want to pay that extra money when I know that young player is a key player, and it's almost perfect timing, isn't it? Yuri Tielemans, he's, 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 he feels like one of the better players in my team now. So, yeah, that finally deserves to go through. Yeah, he's worth $24 million now. Uh, we signed him for 16.5 million. Sometimes people say I signed players that aren't good enough for Manchester United. Maybe this season, uh, if you come like a Carlos Mane. But it's all about, for me, it's all about profits. Profits and still good players for the first team. We signed for 7.5 million and he's valued 10. He's, so to me, that's logical. 
to me, that's logical, and he can play good games in the cup like that, get assists, get a good rating, and play his part and increase his value, and he might develop actually into a decent player. He's a, a Portuguese national player as well. So uh, I think I make the right decisions. Like I said, just on Giovinco before, we signed him on a free, then we sold him for like 20 million, and we did the same with uh, another striker, Res Dani, and we sold him for 10 million. So that's like 30 million profit right off the bat. So <laughs> you think about that, that's a lot. But anyway... Uh, we'll end it here. Uh, we've got an important game against Barcelona in the next episode. Drop a like on this video if you would like to see that uploaded very, very soon. And I'll see you guys in the next video.